hand up. You're ready for your rife session? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we're running a rife session with this little device called the rife machine, developed in the early 1900s by Raymond Royal Rife, and he developed it to kill pathogens. Paul DeClark um, is another person who um, made some devices that kill pathogens. So it is a frequency device and it's ran by this computer which shoots the program to this little box and then this little box is hooked up to our, the light that we're running right now is a crystal ball and i put that one on because it's cold and flu season and you can just run that in Will these the, change they're crystals nice mm -hmm. can yeah. change them out okay well, you can't change the bulb out. Okay. But we have different bulbs. We have the crystal bulb, which can just get the whole room. Oh, I see. Then we have the double bubble bulb, and that um, that that is another type of bulb that you can use. And then we have a spiral bulb. So, like Gosh. if someone had a toothache or something, you just put it right, like on there. Or if they have a chest cold, or if they have a belly ache. But these lights will do it too. They just okay. have to be within three foot of you. I never knew that they were all ran by the same um, program. Same machine. Same yeah. machine. Yeah. And the machine, the program. There's there's two th over two thousand programs that we can choose from. So anything from cold and flu of 2018 to um, chicken pox to psoriasis to Lyme disease. Um, they used it when they first developed it for cancer and Lyme disease is what it was developed for. Okay. And um, so it's it, what it does is it gives the frequencies of those pathogens that cause those diseases. Okay. So let's say the frequency of a spiral cheat because everything has frequencies. And spiral cheat is one of the, the organisms, the main organism that starts Lyme disease. There's okay. a lot of different pathogens that are involved in Lyme disease. That's why it's so complex. But there's a program for it that will hit all those different pathogens. So it is like an opera singer when they're singing and their frequency of their voice meets the frequency of the glass, the wine glass, and shatters it. Right. Okay. That's what it does to the pathogens. Okay. So it's, it's been tested and these programs are set in place specific for every single... Many things. Yeah. Graves disease. We have someone that we're working on with Graves disease right now that's having really nice success. Um, we've had so anything. Yeah. I mean, cancer to pain, pain, joint pain, yeah. headaches. Yes. Lock jaw. Yes. That kind of issue. Yeah. So. And if somebody is complicated and it's yeah. not just a straightforward, hey, I have shingles, right? Um, or I have a toothache, and they're just sick, we will run a scan on them. Okay. So then the machine scans them, and um, we put this light bulb on the back and they hold this little thing in their hand and we run an hour and a half program that scans. Wow. And as it's scanning, it's detecting what's going on, the different frequencies, and then it writes a program for that. Okay. So then it will come back and, and hit those frequencies that are healthy cells vibrate at about 52 megahertz and unhealthy cells vibrate much lower. Cancer cells about 25 megahertz. So they have the frequencies of all the different pathogens okay. and, and illnesses. And so then it shoots back those frequencies. Wow. So it's not going to hurt your, your healthy cells, is guess what I'm saying. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. But that's a very good point. Yeah. yeah. That's interesting. And so this one does, you said this was crystals and it was good for? It's, well, you can run any of the programs through any of the bulbs. Okay. And you can also run it through a foot bath. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I do like to do the foot baths too because people see what the color of the water how it changes yeah yeah and then we see people's foot baths get clearer as they get better wow so that's pretty exciting <sighs> that's cool before we get started i'm going to check on that i'll be right back 